For today's lesson, we're going to finish up working with negative numbers, and this should be a pretty quick lesson. Uh, we're going to start by comparing uh, numbers. So we can use a number line uh, to help us if needed. Um, and what we do is, as, as again, as the number moves to the right on a number line, it increases in value. So a number that's farther to the right is going to be larger than a number uh, to the left. So if we look at part A where we have 1 compared to negative 4, well, we see that 1 is farther to the right on our number line. So 1 is greater than negative 4. Or another way to think about this one, 1 is a positive number. 4 is a negative number. A positive number is always going to be greater than a negative number. For part B, we have negative 12 compared to negative 10. And if we look at our number line, here's negative 12 on our number line. Here's negative 10. Negative 12 is to the left, which makes negative 12 smaller than negative 10. Another way you can think about these, if they're both negative, whatever the answer would be as positive, it's going to be the opposite when they're negative. So for part C, if we were comparing uh, 6 to 9, 6 would be the smaller number, but since they're both negative, negative 6 is going to be larger than negative 9. <coughs> so negative 15 is going to be less than negative 6, because if they're both positive, 15 is larger. So since they're both negative, negative 6 is larger. Same thing on number 2. Negative 20 is going to be greater than negative 23. For number three, same thing, negative 30 is less than negative three. For number four, negative 19 is going to be less than zero because all negative numbers are to the left of zero. For number five, 12 is positive, 31 is, or negative 31 is negative, positive is always greater than negative. And the same thing on number six, negative 75 is less than 46. So we need to look at uh, some situations and make sure that we're answering the question that we're being asked. So the table shows the lowest recorded temperature in Alaska for each month from July through December. So we want to compare September's temperature to August's temperature. Well, since September is listed first, we want to put that number first. So that's going to be negative 13. Since August is listed second, we're going to put that number second. And negative 13 is less than 8. And since it says compare September's temperature to August's temperature, we need to make sure that we're using the temperatures and not the months. For number two here, we have elevations of some natural features. So we want to compare Death Valley's elevation to Lake Assal's elevation. Well, Death Valley has an elevation of negative 282. Lake Assal has an elevation of negative 509. So Death Valley's elevation is greater than Lake Assault's elevation. And so if we want to write an inequality, 0 degrees Celsius is warmer than negative 5. Well, 0 is greater than negative 5. The elevation of the Valdez Peninsula, which is negative 131 feet, is less than the elevation of the Caspian Sea, which is negative 92 feet. So negative 131 is less than negative 92. And then finally, for these last two, if we want to write a statement to describe each inequality, this is where um, your creative uh, juices can flow a little bit. So for number three, where negative 61 degrees Fahrenheit is less than 47 degrees Fahrenheit, you could say the temperature at the North Pole on a certain day was negative 61 degrees Fahrenheit, which was colder than the temperature in Peoria, which was 47 degrees Fahrenheit. And for number four, our comparison is negative 520 feet is greater than negative 893 feet. You could say the elevation of the Pacific Ocean Trench was negative 520 feet, which is a higher elevation than the Atlantic Ocean Trench at negative 893 feet. Sorry for the pause there, but I, I lost my train of thought. Um, so you can just be creative there, but you do have to make sure when creative that your um, statement does end up with those inequalities. 
And that is it for today's lesson. I hope this helps. Oh!